Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the rock full of brains. Three different colonies spread across the wilds of space. We are ready to try and get ourselves a couple more, but are we truly ready if we've not taken advantage of everything that we can take advantage of on any of the colonies, or indeed made them nice places to live? Last time, we spent most of our time putting this water underneath the rocket, so when the rocket takes off, we can warm up the water, but the water is not warm enough at the moment to fill this place with steam so when the rocket lands we're, we're, we're only touching the very very smallest amount of water with the rocket plume and we're not warming it up quite as we would like so I want to be able to turn all of this into steam we've got a thermal aqua tuner that we could actually try and go ahead and do that with we've got all this water going around and I think I know what I'm going to do for that I'm going to start taking advantage of like this cobble vault oh cobalt volcano sorry and of course back there we've got an aluminium one as well I'm going to start with this this guy down here I think my major plan is just to flood it with maybe hydrogen something like that something that transfers gases around pretty easily uh, and then in fact you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna start digging this little area out here and then use the water that we've got flowing around here to uh, acclimate I'm gonna go with acclimate I had to sit there and think about the word I wanted to use for a while the the, uh, the environment around here to try and keep it cool we're just gonna throw cobalt on the floor I'm then gonna use the shipping conveyor here to try and pick up the materials when they're cool enough which we're gonna find out through the thermo sensor but before we can do all all of that we just need to open it up we just need to open it i'm not i'm not overly keen about the fact that it's um currently trying to spew out 2226 degree let's call it 23 uh, 27 degree um cobalt on the floor there that that's gonna that's gonna be a bit of a problem hey plank how are you doing you can't do the digging can you because you do not have the skills that we need to use and i do know the person that does have the skills that we need to use would rather go along and pick up the items off the floor uh because this here is a uh, is oh i thought this was a nine uh was an eight sorry turns out it's a four Hmm. Well, anyway, I, I know that this is what we need to do to get the digging going. So let's get the digging going, shall we? The other questions that we're going to have, of course, is how are we going to... Oh, we got we got a lot of stress going on. I, I actually want to look at Goddard because he is the person that I want... Oh, hey, God, you, you don't look like you're having the greatest of times over there. The stress is plummeting, but that's that, that's good. We, we've got the morale uh, like way over the top. I don't know why he's having a bad time, but he's about to have a worse one because uh, you might remember that last last episode we actually made him an electrical engineer where, where is the that down here but unfortunately the skill points ended up being too much for him we currently aren't having him as a rocket pilot so we could take on those electrical engineer skills again and uh, he'll he'll be fine he'll be fine so we're gonna we're gonna let that happen now, hopefully if we actually watch him a uh, little bit of a glitch there that's fine we're gonna go off to the learning to learn the skill from the mini pod uh, which should mean that we get a nice hat uh, the reason that I want that electrical engineer is because of course we need that for the auto sweeper no one without the electrical engineer skills will build this auto sweeper and if we're going to get several hundred degrees worth of um, metals out of an area that's quite quite warm uh, i would like to do it not by duplicate hand you know I, I think i think we can let the robots take care of that swan levitt coming through doing the digging i thought it was goddard it turns out it's swan levitt i'm i'm, I'm very good at remembering my duplicates names I think one of the first things I'm going to do to change this area here is I'm going to get some... Let's go with granite because it's nice. It's uh, It makes my duplicates feel good. And we're just going to insulate this floor here. Because whilst it can get nice and hot underneath, I do not want it to get nice and hot up here. So we're going to have an insulated floor. I think I'm going to put a manual airlock just here uh, we'll have a, a line of wall in the way which we're then going to run a whole bunch of pipe through and chill down that that door in fact let, let's put down another door right here and then we can use some not insulated tile but indeed regular tile i oh no i wanted to press b to copy that i would normally use obsidian because it's thermally reactive we can warm it up and chill it down pretty quickly but unfortunately as you can see we've only got enough for two tiles so i don't think that's going to work we're going to have to use the sedimentary rock which is also thermally reactive i'm going to put one there there and then go underneath and maybe up the other side it depends whether actually you know what i i, I was about to say up the other side but leaving room for the auto sweeper but we can put the auto sweeper right here so yeah i think i think that's how we're going to do it maybe another insulated tile here and here that should then keep us nice and safe all the heat can be kept in there let's get a, a little bit of a pipe Ooh. 
Ooh. Thought processes need to be had quickly, so we're going to put some radiant pipe down this way, across, and then up the other side. Uh, and then we can jump over with the liquid bridge. I'm not going to do that now. I, I'm almost tempted, actually, to jump the liquid bridge this way, and then we can keep the cooling pipe being continuous. I do like a continuous pipe, so yeah, let's do that instead. Well, I mean, that was the first day. Quite productive. Well, rather, I chatted a lot. I don't know how much we were productive, though. <laughs> I also want to point out how much we're backing up with natural gas here. We are just not using the power that we're producing. That's fine. So why do we have someone running on a power system over here? It's completely segregated from everything. Okay, maybe we can figure out how to do that. Look, here's a power system down here. Maybe we can join them up somehow. Starvation? I kind of disagree. Why are you going, Plank? Why are you... Look, I know you want to use the toilet. Wait, wait. Why aren't people using the toilet? No, it should be fine. Always a moment of panic when I realise the toilets aren't working. But actually, these toilets are working. Why are you going up here? Maybe we need to swap this. Let's uh, look inside. Can we click on this and say ground? No, it's grounded. Why is the toilet not part of the... There we go. Control. There we go. Beautiful. I have a feeling that I turned it off of the controlled system so that we could use this as a timeout room. When people get too stressed, they go around and do things that I don't like in the base. So we put them in, in the rocket where they can't hurt anybody or themselves. Right? Okay, Goddard's hitting a nice amount of stress right now, but that's okay, because we are on our way down. We, we can see it down here. We're losing 15% per cycle. It's not 60% per cycle like I would like, but there we go. Fertilizer. I don't know where I'm going to put the fertilizer, or I don't know where I would use the fertilizer. I'm going to come across to Pyaxlin and dump it on the floor here. Hey, you guys don't know this place very well. We've not been here for a while. In fact, you should know this place very well. We have looked at this place a lot. There's the oil and trying to like make the petroleum boiler work, but... Oh, it broke. Have you broken? Okay, so this is very hot here. So hot that it didn't... Mm, okay, that that's 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 a bit of a problem. That is a bit of a problem. We're also up warm enough for the thermosensor to have opened... I'm glad I came back to have a look at this. This isn't quite what I want. Let's uh, put this up by, I don't know, 10 degrees. Let's see if we can make that boil over. Hopefully we should just end up with a system. I'm, I'm, I'm really disappointed by this bit of uh, igneous rock that we have right here because I don't think this robo miner yet can actually reach it. Hopefully as we get more uh, lava dropping down on top. Oh, it's actually dormant. Actually dormant. 16 cycles. That's fine. Uh, but we should be able just to leach the temperature out of here. 1000 degrees and hopefully start bubbling up some uh, crude petroleum. How, what temperature do we need to get? Four, oh no, that's 400 for the uh, vaporization that's that's not what we want 300 and, uh, actually that is petroleum goes to for uh, it goes to petroleum at 400 it doesn't turn to sour gas till 500 okay so we yeah we we want to just kind of ease it up a little bit at a time let's go uh 350 and see what happens in a, in a couple of cycles we could probably just leave this ticket oh look it's like 600 degrees here that's what i'm mostly worried about it takes a while for the temperature to transfer through but i don't i don't then want it to go too high because of the residual heat here we're gonna let that tick over whilst over on blagolia people go through and empty this area out i might actually cancel those particular digs so that people don't end up opening the cobalt for volcano too soon uh, as much as i do want it to be um analyzed <laughs> i forgot the word for the moment there even whilst i was trying to read it as much as i do want it to be analyzed i also don't want to melt my duplicates that that's a thing that can happen occasionally uh, it's uh, a thing that i don't like happening <laughs> Okay, things are going quite well over here. I've just noticed that this large power transformer is made out of steel. That is one thing that we do not need. I'm going to turn it back over to gold so that we're not really worrying too much about our steel supplies. I mean, we've got 1,300 kilograms of it right now, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. The reason that I did notice was this auto sweeper is made out of gold. Uh, that's probably going to melt. I could swap it out for steel, but I think what I'm going to do is just rely on the fact that there's going to be so much cooling liquids coming through that the temperature won't actually affect it if it melts and we end up with some gold on the floor i'll replace it with steel and that will be fun uh but yeah, yeah until until we get to that point i'm gonna i'm just gonna see whether we can make do with gold speaking of make do with gold i'm gonna i'm gonna fix this little system over here we're gonna we're gonna include the battery and i suppose we'll keep the uh the, the manual wheel on there just in case it is in fact our oxygen supply but i'm gonna then bring the power down to connect with this system over here i don't think these conductive wires are negative on the decor can we can we see that somewhere is that a thing that we can see decor zero okay so that's that's fine totally neutral so running running gold wires around is fine per 
personally, I think gold wire should like slightly raise the decor. I mean, it's gold. Who doesn't want sparkly stuff on the walls? Whilst they're going around doing those quick jobs, let's have a look at. Ooh, whoa, 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 we're too far, too far. 360. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay, we're gonna start having a bit of a problem. Wow, it's less dense. I didn't realize. Uh, sorry, more dense. I didn't realize that the petroleum. Let's just make sure that we've not got sour gas everywhere. Okay, that's cool. I didn't realize that the petroleum uh, took up less room. Also, this is starting to melt. Is is that starting to melt, or is it? Oh no. Oh, is that my obsidian tile here? <sighs> Ooh, I'm going to put another one down underneath it to try and stop the pressure overbuilding there. And uh, maybe even say that that's really important. Uh, yeah, that that is, in fact, really, really important. N not so much as the, uh, the, the, the replacement of the tile there. Mm, okay, we're, we're going to let that go. But at the same time, I'm also going to come along to this hydro sensor. Uh, is it below zero that I want this to be turning on? Okay, we're going to start turning on some uh, crude oil so that it can be picked up and passed through the system and start cooling all this area down because I'm really worried that we're going to start making some sour gas and sour gas is not what I want. Why is this not... Uh, look, we got 400 degrees around. Can, can I please bring this down to 350? Thank you very much. I turned it up just to make sure uh, we could actually turn some of this into petroleum. I'm really worried now. I'm really worried. Look at this. It's up at like 400 degrees. That could be bad. We're, we're dropping petroleum on the floor because of the pressure damage. Uh, they, it's, is someone coming along to do this? Why not? Oh, here we go. Curie on, is on it. Okay, that's... That's that's good. I was I was starting to get a little bit worried there. I was start Guys, guys. Guys. There's obsidian right on the floor. Why why is this let's, let's turn this right down. Oh, I don't know if I want to turn it right down. I do, however, really want to get this fixed. Oh, we got pressure damage on the other side now. That's even worse. We don't have a way in there. Ah. Uh, Okay, here comes Franklin with a repair supply. Hopefully that's going to turn into an actual repair. Uh, and then we need to think about how we can bust our way into here. Deconstruct, deconstruct. Uh, and uh, and start fixing this stuff here. I, w I was expecting this to hold back a bit more pressure than it was. Why is this one busted? Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's let's try this. Let's see, let's see if this will work. I sure hope so. <laughs> I think we're even going to go to red alert here. This, 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 is, this is an actual issue. This is an actual issue. Where Where is everybody? Let, let's get going, guys. Let's get going. We definitely need to get all of these tiles fixed. Oh, man. Uh, thankfully, we can run the ladder up here instead and have some more of these tiles coming up here. But uh, this, is, this is a bit of a worry. This is a bit of a worry. Okay, Curie and Maxwell both going around and doing the repairs here. I'm, do you know what I'm also worried about? this one breaking on this side that that would be horrific we'd almost instantly drop oil on top of magma and then just flash this full of um what's the word that i'm looking for here sour gas uh, that well, that that would be a bad beyond bad so let's try something like this it gives somewhere for all the liquid to flow still hopefully uh we'll try and bust our way, way in through these two i mean maybe this one and this one uh they're going to be much lower priorities than everything else. if we go construction and just be like these are high priorities please but whilst we watch these duplicates go around and perform all the emergency repairs, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that keep me out of a state of emergency. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy made, made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future. I really enjoy doing what I'm doing here and I, I, I love the fact that I've got an actual reason to be doing it. So thank you so much, guys. Without you, I just couldn't justify this time. Thank you. Okay, to say that I got panicked there was an understatement of my uh, my reaction. Let's turn that one up high as well. I want to move all these crude oils out of here. There's also a little bit of a, an area there, uh, a little bit of a spillage of crude oil there that I want to pick up because, of course, once the petroleum starts to flow back down here, we don't want any other liquids in the way else. We're going to end up with a blockage, and that would be horrific. I had to put some ladders in the way to be able to get uh, people up and down, <laughs> but what kind of worse than that, uh, I, I, I busted a hole through the side for Curie to come in and start building building up the uh, the extra reinforcement on this side. It just went walked right into all the magma. Thankfully, it solidified almost instantly and uh, not too much temperature 
transferred to her, but the uh, the amount that did managed to solidify all of the magma, which is not what I want. Uh, I also feel like I'm going to break this ladder here and replace it with a, let's have a look, a mesh tile. I think I should have a little bit of steel. I'm nearly out of steel. Okay, we can we can correct that as we're going. That's not a big problem, uh, but I, I just, I need something that can stop this, uh, this block here forming, and I think the mesh tile is the winner. I'm going to put a little bit more access way in. All of these made out of obsidian, so they're going to stay in place. Of course, the, these ones made out of igneous rock. If we have a look over here, they melt at 1400 degrees, and if we have a look at the magma, 1500 degrees. So yeah, these will these will melt when they get come into contact with magma, unfortunately. I think we can now put these onto a 9, and let everybody not be quite as panicked as they were. Maybe go and get some sleep. Let's go have a look on Blagolia, see what we're doing over here. Oh, people have made the airlock and started to put the, uh, the pipes in place. Not as much happened here as I was expecting, if I'm to be honest. Looks like everything happened over here in the panic modes. You always know you've done well when people are just sleeping wherever's convenient. Okay, that's that's fine. This is not the end of the world. People are going to have a little bit of things to complain about during the day. But as long as we don't top out over 90% stress, I think we'll be fine. Obviously, nothing happens until they hit 100. But 90 is where I start really panicking. Let's go and have a look. 50% over on Blagolia, on reversing, zero. Over here, things are just, you know, ticking over as normal. I do like the fact that we've nearly opened up all of this, uh, this lava here. For those of you who are not aware, where the magma being fed in via this little tunnel down towards this little crusher here. Make sure that the uh, the lava stays where it needs to. And all the igneous rock gets fed to our hatches. Beautiful system. I love it. It's definitely been a more well-behaved system than this petroleum boiler, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, I managed to find enough steel laying around the base to be able to turn this into a steel tile. Uh, tile. Uh, I did have to rip down a couple of pumps that ne weren't necessarily needing to be made out of steel. So hopefully this is going to be, yeah, Curie's on it after she has built this. This is pretty good. I've noticed that this is kind of getting swamped out here and we're getting a lot of carbon dioxide. Maybe I'll just be like, hey, can we uh, we pump that out? Thank you very, very much. Uh, I probably could have, now that I stopped and thought about it, moved the pump up a little bit, but that's all right. We'll, we'll let it get uh, mopped out. We'll see what happens there. Curie is on it. This should hopefully keep the temperature nice and low. We're still in a vacuum. That's good. Uh, low enough for... Well, it's not so much the temperature. What's, what's going to happen is the this is going to fill up with of lava and then as it tries to turn into igneous rock the one up here is not going to be able to turn into a tile and hopefully we'll not end up with the whole thing just going up that that's my hope that is my hope uh do we sweep all this out or do we just you know what i'm just going to leave it it will melt over time let's put some more obsidian tiles and seal this seal this base back up that that's what we want to do the next thing i want to do after that is to then clear out all of these little areas here so that i could turn all this back on and then hopefully just keep this as a vacuum these guys are going to want to outgas at some point. That's that's kind of what I am uh, avoiding because once they fill up this area with natural gas, it's only these pumps that are going to be able to try and pu pull it all back out. Really, Curie? Are you being serious right now? Telling me she's not got any food? I I, I disagree very strongly. So yeah, that, I, I don't I don't want that that gas coming all the way up here, touching the super hot stuff, and then trying to melt everything. That that would be bad. I've also just noticed that I could put a tile there and that would keep this system clean yeah we're, we're gonna do that as well we're gonna do that as well Okay, last of the crude oils are being moved out of here. I'm a little bit worried that they're going to spill over, pump up into the uh, into the chamber here, and then start this petroleum spilling over. I am not ready for that to happen yet. That that that's going to be a bit of an issue. Let's once again ask people to come along and fix this. Get these last bits out. A little bit worried about that igneous rock there. Uh, what what is it at the moment? It's only 57 degrees actually. That that's fine. It could be a lot hotter and still not cause us any trouble. So we'll, we'll leave that there. Did he literally? just come along and only grab that one i mean that's not great Okay, and once these two tiles get put in place at the end of the day, or to the first thing tomorrow will be the case, I think this petroleum boiler is now back up and running? 
hopefully. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. In fact, let's go back to play Axelin quickly. Uh, dormant for how long? 12 cycles. We'll find out in 12 cycles. We'll find out in 12 cycles. In the meantime, I have got Goddard to come along and build himself two of these auto sweepers. One down here and one up over here preparing for the future. The reason that I've done that is you can see his stress is starting to climb. I thought all we needed... Let's, let's pause the game. I thought all we needed was to have electrical engineering. No, it's mechatronics to be able to build the auto sweepers and as you can see that has pushed his uh, stress way over what we wanted so i'm going to come back over here and scrub him again let's have a look at the blueprint i'll take the dirt thank you dirt always useful okay there goes the skill scrubbing that is great that's exactly what we want we've got to remember to uh, change him back into a uh, a chef when 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 he's clear there but uh, for, for now that's pretty good uh talking of i think it's time for us to think about how we can dig our way through this area and be dealing with all these pipes around the outside we've not quite got them all in place yet and i'm a little bit worried about hooking this up until they are all in place uh that that one block there is the only thing that's going to be holding back the flow of cobalt so i think i think this is fine i might put an exosuit uh dock in but for now this will be fine Actually, I wonder if, whilst whilst we've got the leisure to do whatever we want, if we could just deconstruct that and ask people to come and... Uh, no, just, just a nine will do, thank you very much. Like, like that, and then we should be able to dig in this way, and that, that should be fun, yeah? I mean, if not fun, it'll be safer. <laughs> Somehow, when replacing these tiles with granite for my duplicates to walk on, we managed to spill a bunch of water inside. These all got done one at a time, though, so it's not like we just opened it up and the water rushed down. I actually don't know how that happened. I think we're going to be fine. If the water turns to steam and then condenses on the pipes, that's that's good, right? That's that's totally totally usable and acceptable, I think. Okay, the full system has been put in place. I'm really not sure whether it's going to work for us the way I want it to, but I'm going to believe. I'm going to just believe. Why would it not work the way that we want it to? Let's just cancel those. So now the, the water should be going down and around, making sure that this whole area is chilled nicely. In fact, this is actually warming it back up, but that that's that's fine. That's fine. That's uh, more than acceptable. Uh, I think I'm actually going to be like, hey, guys, can you just come and open this up for us? Thanks. <laughs> Cycle 1000. All right, that, that's that's great. I really, really love that. I'm sort of glad that we've managed to make it this far, though I do obviously intend to go much, much further. We, we barely scratched the surface of what this game has to offer. That, that's crazy how deep this game can be. It really is crazy. Swan Levitt not doing the full dig like I was hoping them to, uh, but I'm hoping that Plank's going to come along and do some analysis once this all's all been opened up. I'm a little bit worried that, as per usual, the moment, the very moment that we've got a system up and ready to be used, we, uh, we, we, we've ended up having a dormant one. It's not... It's not been doing anything for a cycle or two and that's that's a little bit worrying well whilst plank is going through and analyzing that we're going to open up the uh, aluminium volcano and try and do exactly the same thing we're just going to have a bunch of radiant pipes coming through here uh, what, what, what do we say in this way up round uh we want to come like do a little zigzag back over this way and then come down here i think i think that will work out pretty well for us maybe we couldn't uh, maybe shouldn't have actually connected that there uh we can move this pipe back up this way i think i think that'll be the best system i think that will be the best system oh happy days it is actually doing something i'm not sure if that's great with uh with plank right there I'm, I'm i'm gonna ask him let's pause the game to walk all the way to the top of that ladder uh, let's let's see what happens with the volcano. That that's what I'm mostly worried about is not not melting my boy plank there. That 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 would be pretty sad. Oh, of course we scrubbed good art, so I can't actually put everything in place that I want to. Uh, I don't don't let that worry you though. I will just give him the skills back and then scrub him again. I, I I'm not I'm not afraid to cycle my duplicates through this system. Okay, there goes a bunch of cobalt. That that's nice. That's nice. It is very very hot. Look at that, 1300 degrees. Oh, hello plank. How are you doing back? You did that run very quickly. Let's uh, let's make you do it again, shall we? Did you really get all the way up here and? Then back in that time. I mean, I can believe it. I can believe it. Uh, it's a sh oh god, Ad, what are you doing? What are you doing? I think you'll be okay. Coming at two thousand eleven kilos at two thousand degrees should just bring this down to a relatively cool temperature. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be fine. Got we got some hot gases going. Wow, what did, what did this just do? It did something. I think it was just loading up uh, on the 
automation line there. Okay, the cobalt is losing its temperature to the surrounding area. I think this is fine. I think, actually, this is perfect. Plank doesn't seem to be getting too much heat off of it. Let's uh, let's click on Plank and see if his body temperature is climbing. Uh, we, got a, we got a scolding there. So, yeah, a little bit of something. Also, coming to the skills, Goddard, if you could. I'm going to fill you all the way back up there. Good, good luck, sir. Good luck. <laughs> Okay, Plank has fully uh, analysed this, uh, this cobalt volcano. Now let's have a look. We get 11. Uh, we know this already. The eruption period is 31 seconds every, wow, cycle. Let's just call it that. Uh, 92 cycles every 162. So about two-thirds of the time is on, and it's not going to be dormant again for another 70 cycles. Okay, that that is pretty cool, pretty amazing. This thermo sensor, yeah, if, um, if below 20, feel free to pick everything up. I think that's what we're going to go with there. And, of course, all of that is going to be decided by the conveyor loader but well, rather all of that being what it's going to pick up is decided by the conveyor loader i might very well just say everything i also went ahead and changed this tile to one that can pick up the temperature from everywhere around it so that when things get dumped on top of it it will swap the temperature with this tile and that tile of course being cooled by the the water system here so even if we do pick up cobalt at a ridiculously high temperature let's go all and see if it will do this uh, we need to uh, look at that 43 42 25 thankfully all of this is being chilled by the, uh, the the tiles around it but it's still pretty high in temperature i wonder if this let, let, let's knock it up a bit and uh, let let everything pick pick up there's some there is some very hot temperatures here maybe maybe i am wise just to leave it running <laughs> Okay, we got some obsidian on there. Let's wait until we can see it drop. It's being dropped at 20 degrees. It's immediately swapping temperature with the tile underneath it. Okay, that's good. That down to 19.9. Yeah, I think I think this is good. I think this is acceptable. So we're going to put this back down to 20. We'll just let it cool down as it naturally wants to cool down. It might end up being that actually that is just too too cool for the cobalt to ever actually chill down in the amount of time that it, it won't chill down far enough before the next eruption. I don't know. We'll find out. But also, I've been doing the same thing up at the aluminium volcano over here. We're pretty much ready to go. Uh, if I put down a door here, I'm going to use a top manual door there. I'm going to knock out this little bit of wall, and we're going to go up this side here. Uh, tile, let's once again up like that. I think that should work out well for the aluminium volcano. We're going to drop it on top of this pneumatic door. Maybe not the best place to be dropping it, but it will do for the moment. And this should then seal everything up, and then when we're ready to uh, send the liquids across, it can cool everything down for us. Now, the aluminium comes out a lot hotter as soon as the autosave stops, I'll let you know. The autosave actually comes out cooler. Okay. Which is a bit of a bad, bad thing for our conveyor loader over here. Maybe this one needs to be made out of steel. Uh, this was one of the things we were going to keep an eye on. Uh, let's uh, disable auto repair. We don't need to waste all that gold. He's going to do it anyway. Uh, and then gold, swap it out for the steel one. Thank you. For, well, this is actually tungsten. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. This is actually going to be tungsten. Um, yeah, I think I think we can live with tungsten. Of course, tungsten's melting point, 3,000 degrees. I'm not sure when it overheats, though, but 3,000 degrees melting point is much lower. Okay, in the process of putting all the automation in, we've actually managed to uncover the aluminium volcano. I hope these guys aren't going to just sit there and chill out. Uh, we're going to go minus 20 again, or at least under 20 again. Can we get you guys out of there? I, I don't I don't mind really that you want to chill, but it, it's going to be very hot very soon in there. In fact, actually, we want Plank to go ahead and do, do a little looky look. Uh, can we move you back there? And then that should be your next priority. Okay, cool. As long as, as, long as he doesn't get erupted on top of, I think everything should be fine. But even if he does get erupted on top of, we do have a triage cot just in the middle of the wilds up here. I think that'll be fine for him, surely. You know, I'm going to swap all of these to below 30 because I do believe I've actually got this system set up to allow the base to go up to like 25 degrees. So let, let's say below 30 is probably a better idea. Okay, the actual cobalt itself is starting to get moved as I thought the steam is erupting. But I don't think it's actually able to change... Uh, well, let's go to the gas overlay. I don't think it's able to stay as steam for very long. Uh, we are getting overheat. On the tungsten, we're getting overheat. Wow, okay. Crazy. Faraday, what are you doing? Okay, you're going in to replace those. That's, um... 
Okay, the, these both need to be swapped out for steel. Uh, that, that, that's fine. We kind of knew it was going to happen. Kind of new. Let's disable the auto repairs to make sure that doesn't go bad. Okay. Uh, one of these, I don't have a great deal, like all the steel that I want. But I do have a fair amount, so it should be fine. Hopefully that one gets taken down and put down like that. And then this one. I really thought the tungsten was going to manage it, but it's, it's 125 degree overheat temperature still. That's, uh, that's, that's not great. That's not great. Okay, this has just got switched on. Beautiful. And I think over here, Plank's about to finish his analysis. Oh, thankfully, just in time before it erupted. This one erupts 36 seconds every ooh, cycle and a half. Doesn't really tell us... It says like, cancel and now wait, it's, it's, it's finished. I don't know why it like weirdly set there like that. Uh, 70 cycles every 120. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. That's again about two thirds. We've melted everything. Look at this. Everything just melted. Okay, that's that's okay. Oh, oh, that's not okay because I haven't finished the pipes. Mm. Okay, let's let's put some steel pipe work in here like this, and then before it gets too bad, let's uh, hook this across this way. Oh, I kind of feel like this is going to be a very bad time, but we get we're going to try it anyway. We're going we're going we're going to see if we can make this work. Oh, we just melted through the floor. That was unexpected, to say the least. I've got a little bit of obsidian, though. We're gonna we're gonna use these instead. That's just like very high priority. If you could, did we just drop all that aluminium on the floor? And we're gonna have some problems. We're gonna. Oh, someone's at a hundred percent. Goddard is at a hundred percent. Oh my my dude, but you need to finish doing stuff. Uh, he's a binge eater. No, dude, sorry, but you're gonna have to go to timeout. Change crew, Goddard, go. We can't have you. I mean, we've got a lot of food, but we can't. We can't have you eating all the food. That's just unacceptable, you know. No, we've had someone pass out from heat. Swan Lever is dying. Hopefully, Plank's going to be the one to come and get get them. Anybody? Anybody? Who? No, not that. We 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 need Swan Lever assigned, and hopefully, someone's going to come across and get them. Okay, that's good. That's good. Better than it was, anyway. <laughs> Okay, to say that could have gone better is a bit of an understatement. Thankfully, I mean, whilst we do have water going through and almost boiling, uh, the constant flow of water is actually keeping this relatively chill, as long as it can keep going, and of course, this can keep up with the cooling process, then everything should work out for us. We're probably going to end up with a lot of heat just kind of pooling around in funny ways. 40 degrees, yeah, we're not going much higher than 40. Hopefully this is now keeping this all regulated as well. This might have ended up being too much. Might, what, why, Plank? What did you do? What what, what happened? Why, why are you there now? Uh, so we need to swap this out for Plank, and hopefully someone's going to come and pick you up before this becomes too much of a problem. I, d ah, th I mean, this is already a problem, but hopefully it's one that we can fix at some point. Good work, Swan Lever. Okay, that's... Oh, I mean, we've got water in there. It's condensing. It's steaming. The, 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 we've had worse, but we've also had better. Planks at the bottom of the ladder. I mean, people have, people know that he needs to go in the triage cot. And in fact, we're going to build another triage cot next to it, and, and hopefully that will work out. Ooh, this could have been worse, but I think we're okay. Yeah, nothing. 12 degrees, 30 degrees. Okay, that that's kind of okay. We're just going to let this sit and uh, work like this for a little bit. Hopefully all of these pipes in the background, uh, these tiles, sorry, are going to be able to keep the temperature down low enough. Thankfully, the, uh, the aluminium doesn't erupt all that often. 70 cycles every 120 is two thirds, but then it's only 36 seconds out of every cycle and a half. So we should be workable <laughs> also let's let's scrub goddard he's a um, bit of a problem right now so this system worked out pretty well for the cobalt volcano i'm not certain that it's worked out so well for the aluminium volcano i do know aluminium has a specific heat capacity much much higher let's pause the game while we're talking about this much much higher than aluminium you see this is nearly one uh, and over here this is like half so that like almost double the temperature per degree sorry double the energy per temperature of degree in aluminium i just want to see what goddard's up to because yeah he's once again 
causing a bit of a problem. We have scrubbed all his skills, so it shouldn't be a ongoing issue, but it's a, it's a current issue. Talking of current issues, sending the water through like this is not the way. We, ne we need to make sure that this is absolutely full up so that the uh, chill water can continue its job of cooling everything down. And I think the best way to do that is just to pick somewhere like here that's got a little bit of a power line already on it. Uh, put down a pump here. Oh, I could just bridge this across very quickly. No, that's 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 not the winner. Let's not do that. Let's uh, let's let's carry on with what I was saying. Pop pop a pump down here, like so. Doesn't really matter what it's made out of. Uh, we're gonna get a liquid bridge, like so. Bit of bit of a power, a little bit of a pipe. Sorry, uh, and then grab this power line here to keep it all topped up. Okay, hopefully that's gonna be everything we need. Okay, here we go. Water is being picked up. It's just waiting in the pipe, in the, the, the bridge here, to fill up any gaps that are coming through. Because the gaps allow these te these pipes to get up to quite a high temperature, and that's not what we want. We want to have this at quite a steady and easy to predict temperature. That sure would make our lives a lot easier. Yes, indeed. There we go. As you can see, the, the, the pipe is doing its job. Okay, that's great. There is a little bit of a, a, a partial bubble there, but that's fine. Mostly because there is no way for the water to end up backing up. Yeah, this 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 is all looking great. I, I kind of wish we weren't at 40. I wish we were at like 20, but th that's fine. We can We can kind of live with it for the moment. Okay, here is the dangerous bit. These ones go through at 30 odd degrees, and then if we watch the uh, the pipe in the background, it doesn't actually tell us what temperature the pipe is at, but these are coming through now at 50, which is much worse. We should hopefully just keep it nice and stable though, especially when we get back. Oh, hello? Hello? We got ourselves a bit of a weird auto save. Why is this just suddenly stopped here? This reckons... Ah, because we melted it via the magic of aluminium. Okay, that that that's fine. I can most definitely deal with that. Okay, now that the pipe is filled up, I'm going to destroy the bridge, but I'm going to leave this pump in place because you never know when we're going to need it. I'm also wondering when people are going to come along and fix this little bit of pipe right here. Let's just make sure people are immediately on it. Of course, Gardard's on it. I bet he's had to get out of bed to do so and everything. No, it's just one Levitt and Plank in bed at the moment. Alright, that, that's fine. Here is Goddard. Have you... Yes, you've let the water flow. This water needs to make sure that it carries on flowing because it's the oxygen supply for my base and I, I kind of don't want it to stop at any point. <laughs> 50 degree pipe, 30 degree water. Okay, I think, I think this is dealable. As long as the water can stay down below 30 degrees, I think that's fine. Why is this erupting so often? It's not supposed to erupt quite so often, but here we are. I like the fact that we've got aluminium at 100 degrees, but the water is at 70, and it's just kind of like a battle between this trying to cool it down and this trying to warm it up. That's uh, that's actually not too bad. Uh, that could be a lot worse than, than it is, and I'll take it. I'll take it as it is. All right, uh, so the aluminium is now being spewed out. It's remelting everything around here, but the water is almost instantly condensing. Let's have a look at the temperature of the water leaving. 30, 60, 80, 90. We don't want to get much higher than 90 if we can avoid avoid it okay so we 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 peaked at 90 there i'm gonna say that that's fine and the water just carries on flowing out to make sure that all of the temperatures are consistent okay that's that's kind of cool yeah that that works normally you'd go ahead and put a steam turbine what one of one of these bad boys on top but i don't i don't want to do that i want to concentrate all of my my heating over here so that we can warm up this water yeah we've gone from 30 degrees to 60 degrees and eventually this will be the thing that's cooling it down okay that's nice for a given value of nice <laughs> But I think whilst we've got this somewhat stable system, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time, where we're going to hopefully not watch all of this melt, hopefully watch this turn into petroleum, and maybe we can start moving a plank from Blagolia back to Reverselin so we can stick a telescope on the very top here and start pushing out our bounds of knowledge in this direction. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.